Greetings and welcome to Brightspace. When you first come into Brightspace, this is a similar to the screen you're going to see. Um, obviously, I have a lot of courses on the left-hand side. You may not have any many. You may not have any on the left-hand side. If you don't have them, you can actually scroll on down here and view all courses, and you see all your courses in your list, and I have quite a few. So to me, I want to sort through them. So I'll click on this icon at the top here, and then we want to work with the agronomy today. I'm going to show you how to import a course into the agronomy. So I just type AGA-114, that's the course number. And it brings up all the agronomy courses that I may have taught or will be teaching or that's available to me. And we're gonna go with the fall one. That's why it says 2018 FA at the end. Um, and we're gonna click into that course. And right now it's essentially a blank course except for the embedded assessments module, which is there. And we'll talk more about working with that um, here a little bit later. But first thing I want to do is actually import the common course, the sandbox course that the college, us instructors here at the college have created for you to bring into your course. So I'm going to come up here and click on this course administrator on the menu at the top on the far right hand side and that's going to bring up a bunch of things. Um, I actually might have mine displayed by name, yours might be displayed by category. Either way, it's the same stuff, just in a different way. I like it by name because it's alphabetical. And I'm going to do the import, export, copy components. So over here on the right-hand side. So just look for the word import, export, copy components. And I'm going to copy components for an, from another organizational unit. So with that, I'm going to search for an offering. And we'll bring that up. And I'm going to search again AGA-114 or whatever course you happen to be doing. Again, we're working with agronomy, but this work with any course that you're working with. Um, and I'm going to search for that by clicking that search button. And you see some here. Um, you may not have the same list I have, obviously. But I do have a course in here called Sandbox. And it's that Sandbox course that we will use to bring into um, your new course. We've got a bunch of stuff in there. So I'm going to click Add Selected. Now, you can, and most of you probably will just want to go ahead and do this, is copy all components. That's the simplest. Um, I'm going to just take you through the Select Components bit. And I like doing that because I just like to see what I'm getting. I'm kind of a control person that way. Um, and in Content, i got 58 items. I can just click here, Select All Components. Um, but I think I'll take all the content in. Um, all the content display settings. Next time I'm just going to click here, select individual items to copy so you can see what's going on there. Um, the discussions are 16 of those. I'm going to take all those in. I'm going to leave the grade items as such, as well as the grade settings. Um, if you don't want to, if you want to make your own settings, um, you can go ahead and do that. But um, you want to take what's currently set up, go with that. And again, you're going to be adjusting some of those anyways. This is a big one here, question libraries. We're going to give you all the quizzes with all the questions. So I want to make sure I bring all those in, as well as the quizzes. I want to bring all those in. If you don't want to copy all the quizzes, then you can click select individual items to copy. And I'll go through that just to show you what happens there. Um, whoops, quizzes, and then click select individual items. Um, when it says include associated files, it means if there's any attachment to any of those quizzes, it'll bring those too. But of course I want those. Release conditions. <coughs> we really don't have any release conditions in here, but um, just in case there are, go ahead and bring those in unless you want to set those up on your own. Again, that's something else with Brightspace. If you don't understand them, probably just accept what we already have set up. There are three rubrics that I'm going to bring in. Um, and go with that. I'm going to actually select components so we look at that. Course appearance and tool displays. We'll go with that. So I kind of went down through. I'm going to continue. Again, you don't need to go with this if Now it's going to take a look at what's going on there. And in my case, and you may want to do that, is just bring in this discussions rubric. Okay, we don't need the other two. It might be confusing. Um, so rubrics you might want to select individually. Um, go ahead and click continue. And um, quizzes, I can expand it by hitting that plus, and you can see all the quizzes in there. We have basically three sets of quizzes for each chapter. You got a practice quiz, you got a quiz that randomly picks 20 questions, and you got a quiz that has every single question from the quiz bank, um, and maybe up to 60 questions. I like the randoms, um, but it's nice to have them all there just in case I want to look what the questions are. So in this case, I'm going to select all. You don't have to make them all available to students, but I'm going to bring them all into my course. Um, so you can see what's there. Go ahead and click continue. And here's all the um, content modules. We've got these set up for you for each chapter as you look at the content, which we'll look at here later, possibly in another video. So we're just going to select all, continue with that. Um, 
everything's there. I can now go back and modify if I don't like what's there. But we basically brought, bought everything in. The only thing we didn't bring everything in was in the rubrics because there's a couple rubrics in there that I didn't want to bring in. With that, I'm going to click Finish. And what will happen there is it'll go copying in progress. Um, bringing in that CCL, CC course in, the common course options already been brought in which is the embedded assessments, um, but this is going to bring in all the other content that we want within that course.